What's going on, everyone? It's time for another action sci-fi fantasy creature feature film review. I guess you could classify it as. Uh, today we're going to talk about King Kong. Not the original, but the 2005 remake, reboot, retelling. <laughs> yeah, it was released by Universal December 14, 2005. And it, it's uh, produced by John Blokin, Carolyn Cunningham. Uh, it was written by Philippa, Philippa Boyas and written and produced by Fran Wells and produced, co-written and directed by Peter Jackson. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy behind, who did the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, and the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. He also did the Hobbit trilogy. The Hobbit, no, I can't remember those three, but off the top of my head. Um... They also did Brain Dead, also known as Dead Alive, and The Lovely Bones. This had a budget of $207 million and made over $556.9 million at the box office. So, well, if you're not familiar with this movie, well, King Kong's a big killer, well, big ape, where in like the 1920s or 30s, I believe, a filmmaker uh, goes on when he hears about a mysterious island, he, uh, Hope like lies his way through and gets uh the cast and uh the writer who he kind of cons in to coming up on a boat with them uh to Skull Island and they go and they find King Kong and they encounter him and then he decides to try to bring it to New York and as he brings it to New York all craziness ensues and King Kong runs amok around the city and of course uh takes a girl captive. Overall, this is a really good remake, reboot, retelling of the story. The CGI and special effects and everything hold up really well for what it is. Uh, most of the time, it looks really dated by now, but this movie came out 19 years ago, and it still holds up really well. And it looks really good. All the acting is really good, too. And overall, it's Peter Jackson, so obviously this movie's really good. <laughs> most of his stuff is really well done, so... Um, yeah, I don't really have very many complaints about this film. The music's really good, the cinematography is amazing, and overall, it's just a really good story. It is over three hours, though, which is a little long for a film. Like, they had uh, uh, intermissions when uh, it came to theaters. I remember I saw this movie like four times in theaters. I liked it that much, and I still like it a lot today. So, yeah, the only few things I complain about is it is a little too long, like a little too padded and stuff. Um, with some like pointless characters or characters being in the story for a little too long too long and uh yeah other than that though um there's not really much to complain about it's a really good film and overall it's one of the better remakes reboots retellers whatever you want to call it out there so yeah uh so i'm gonna give king kong the 2005 one a four and a half out of five. It was really good. So definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. I'm not sure where it's streaming or anything. I don't think it's streaming on Netflix anymore. So, um, but yeah, if you can find it, check it out. Um, I'll link the trailer down below so you can relive it or check it out down there. See what I'm talking about. Also, link down below is my Instagram. That's where I post clips of films and we're going to review in the future all my stories. But the film time on hashtag sub John film and hashtag so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first diary and where after watching the films. And my Twitter down below, reviews underscore Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay in loop this channel. Like this video. Share it some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. If you have any films or film franchises in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And let me know what your favorite King Kong film is down below if you have one. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe. Hope you find some weird here and odd. They probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you're my opinions of popular films that come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because we're going to do a John Carpenter horror film. Not one of his usual ones. We're going to do Prince of Darkness in the next review. So make sure you tune in for that. And uh, yeah, watch out for all those big killer, scary apes running. Uh, causing chaos in our cities because well they're out there somewhere and i guess i'll see you all in the next review so until then cheers